What did you make of of this? Um... Uh, you know, this recent news in, in Kosovo and Serbia that NATO is saying it's willing to intervene. What's going on there? Well, I mean, NATO has already intervened. There's over 3,500 NATO peacekeepers deployed to Kosovo. Um, and, you know, Kosovo exists only because of an illegal war of aggression carried out by NATO against Serbia in violation of all international law. Um, and then they violated every uh, international norm, practice, and legal. Um, you know, precedent by uh, allowing Kosovo to declare itself independent. Um, it's just always funny how I, I hear them say, we can't recognize the independence of Lugansk and Donetsk or Crimea, but we can recognize the independence of Kosovo. Um, what's going on there is you have a fundamental struggle between the, the Serbian government and the Kosovar government over the issue of sovereignty. And it's come down to basically a war of license plates. Um, it's more complicated than that, but you know, one of the big things is that uh, there's a Serbian minority li living in northern Kosovo that uh, recognizes the authority of the Serbian government. And the Serbian government uh, believes that it, it has a right to regulate uh, the, the, the lives of these people to include um, what license plates they put on their cars. Right. And so the uh, Kosovo government has said, no, uh, Kosovo is for Kosovars. And anybody residing in the territory of Kosovo has to put has to re-register their cars. And then there's the issue of travel documents going back and forth. Right now, the Serbians don't require any travel documents because they say these are Serbs in Serbia, etc. The Kosovars want to get travel permits every time they come in. Um, this has been an issue that's been percolating since uh, 2021, I believe, is when it first came to a head. Um, it, it, the 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 Kosovars were were con were were you know, basically pressured into dropping this. But uh, in early uh, July, they went ahead and passed these two laws. And I, I think we also have to reflect on the fact that Tony Blinken visited Kosovo in mid-July. Um, you, you, don't, you don't send Secretary of State to Kosovo uh, and, and, and not have him be aware of the most controversial issue that's getting ready to raise its head, which is the, um, the, uh, the, the issue of license plates and, and the documents which you're highlighting here. Uh, Blinken didn't stop the Kosovars. In fact, I believe Blinken gave them the green light and said the United States will support you in this, which because the United States views this as uh, the issue that's going to force the issue of Kosovar sovereignty, that Kosovo will emerge from this, um, you know, recognized by everybody, including the Serbs, as an independent state. Uh, the Serbs aren't playing that game. Um, there was a crisis um, when the when the Kosovo authorities um, moved to implement this on August 1st. Uh, there's been an intervention by Europe and the United States to uh, the United States, ironically, the one who helped put it in place. Now, they've put it off till September 1st, as if simply delaying this by 31 days is somehow going to uh, change the Serbian mind. Um, I think this is going to be a crisis on um, September 1st. And as long as this issue pushes it, it, it there's a real likelihood that uh, Serbia will end up at war, military conflict with Kosovo, which could drag NATO peacekeepers into it and um, and then probably bring the rest of NATO in. But here's, here's the thing. Not all of NATO recognizes Kosovo. Spain, for instance, doesn't. When this crisis emerged, the Spanish prime minister was actually visiting Serbia. And Spain has come out and said that Kosovo is not an independent state, that it's part of Serbia, that Kosovo independence is a violation of international law. And so there's a chance that on reflection, um, if Serbia does turn this into a crisis, especially a crisis that is taking place while Europe is reeling from the economic consequences of bad decisions made regarding the sanctions of Russia, that the Europeans may not have an appetite for renewed conflict in, in Kosovo, and that um, this, this could backfire on Kosovo, backfire on the United States, and backfire on um, the, the NATO and, and other European entities who support Kosovar independence. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen, but I don't see a I don't see a uh, happy ending here. I see violence, I see death, I see destruction, um, and I see more chaos and anarchy, uh, which is tragic because that's really the last thing anybody uh, yeah. who lives in the deserves. Yeah, God, God forbid it doesn't come to that.